You want to look at James's snatch here from the side. James's best snatch from the floor is 140. This is just 110, but it's a pretty gr good representation of the way he snatches. You can see we've got the bar path there, and also some yellow lines that I think are pretty interesting. They're, you know, the back angle at different parts of the lift, and uh, I think they're. I think they're almost more interesting in the bar path. You can see he's got a great start position here. Um, this is right before the bar moves off the ground. The back angle is pretty vertical, not quite as vertical as John, maybe. Uh, maybe more the same as, say, Travis or Caleb. Uh, shoulders directly over the bar, just the way they should be. Um, pretty good position. And you can see here the knees start to extend uh, start to extend as the bar starts to move the hips start coming back and immediately the back angle gets more horizontal shoulders go forward as the bar comes up the shin you can see there by the time the bar gets about halfway up to the shin the bars already come backwards a couple inches um, the back angles change quite a bit and the shoulders have gone uh, just a bit in front of the bar let so go ahead and move here. Just like John and Travis, he has uh, just a, a little uh, bit of the upward movement here where his back angle stays exactly the same. And he's just pushing with his legs. That's all he's doing, pushing with his legs. You can see the bar continues to come back. The bar's right about at the knees now. Um, it's now, what, maybe four inches or so uh, backwards from where it originally started. Shoulders are now definitely in front of the bar. As the bar gets pulled past the knees, the shoulders start to rise a little bit faster than the hips. You can see his, his knees are definitely going to move forward on this one. And see now the shoulders are behind the bar again. The bar is still quite rearward. I think if you drew a straight line down from the end of the bar to the floor, it would be either right over or right behind his heels. Weight is still on the heels. Heels are still flat on the floor. And there you see he extended his legs, hit the second pull. Everything's still going straight up. Bar came out just a little. His feet are now off the floor, I believe, moving. There they moved. And he's already pulling himself under. And of course, he's pulling that a bit higher than he would a max attempt. But that's very, very similar to his nor uh, bar path with even, uh, you know, 135, 100 kilos. It's just that uh, line goes up a little farther because he gets the bar a little higher. But as he goes down into a real nice catch position, um, hips sitting right on top of the ankles, head well in front of the bar, um, and a nice snatch. That is, uh, I love to see it just like that. So it's, it's a great, uh, great technique, very efficient. Bar never comes forward. The whole path of the bar is uh, behind the initial start position. And, uh, and that's why James is snatching 140, you know, just uh, less than a year after he started training full time as a, as a 77 kilo lifter.